So I'm carving on this piece of hickory here and I have much, much thinner grind on this Benchmade 3V Puko. But this video is just kind of an example of why 3V isn't used on super, super thin geometries. It's not a chip right there, it's actually a roll. And the reason why is just because 3V at 60 HRC is incredibly tough. But when you make something incredibly tough, it's also incredibly malleable and it just lacks the strength to really support a super thin geometry on there. And I remember in the past, people would always ask, like, why isn't CPM 3V used on a really thin Malamika Puko? Or, you know, knives like that. Why you guys don't see me using 3V on, on my blades with super thin geometries, right? Because if it's tougher, it's going to be more stable. Well, the reason why is just because it's not more stable. It's more prone to rolling. And so this knife is still badass. I still love this knife. This knife is crazy. You know, great for the money, all that stuff. I love 3V. But it just goes to show why sometimes it's just better to get a knife that, you know, is just harder. And an example of that is a steel like CPM 4V. Okay, same geometry. It just holds up better, less prone to rolling. If you do anything crazy with it, you're, it's going to be more prone to, you know, breaking and chipping, things like that. But at the same time, this geometry, even though this knife is super tough, is still going to be prone to chipping and breaking. So, you know, that's kind of more to do with geometry. And there's tougher steels in 3V, uh, but again, for the same reasons, just not as ideal at this geometry. Thicker geometry, you know, break through nails. No big deal. But thinner geometry, need more strength. So, kind of cool. Thought I'd just kind of share that with you guys. All right.